So welcome to a tech episode uh, here at Stratified. And today, what we're going to be covering is the new uh, Garrett P Max Stage One Focus ST, or uh, you know Fusion or Escape, but most of our customers are Focus ST customers. Uh, that is a replacement for the OEM unit. So we have a Garrett unit right here. We have the OEM unit right here. We're going to take them apart, show you what they look like inside, and give you some insight into what you're getting uh, with this new turbocharger from Garrett. So here we have the uh, new Garrett P-Max uh, for the Focus ST and the uh, just the Focus ST stock turbo. So on this test here, we're going to show how the uh, P-Max wastegate is set up and the spring pressure on that. So we have it hooked up here to a compressor and uh, we're gonna have a look at this valve as it goes up. And basically, we're gonna watch when these two arms uh, start to move in this direction because when they move in this direction is when the wastegate starts to open. So go ahead and add some pressure there. So you can see them that they're both opening now and uh, you can kind of have a look here that the wastegate is just cracked open and the pressure for that is, uh, is the same for both and we're looking at about seven 8 PSI of boost when they start to grab open. And that's the same on the stock turbo as it is on the PMAX. So here's the uh, compressor side of an OEM Focus ST uh, 250 uh, turbocharger and the, the new Garrett uh, PMAX Stage 1. So on the compressor side, you can see that visually uh, they look very very similar and we measured these uh, these two wheels and uh, this one uh, as well as this one they measure 54 millimeter on the exducer so basically the largest uh, diameter they can find uh, here which is where the air comes out of the compressor wheel and then uh, 40 millimeters on the inducer which is just the inlet here to the blades the smallest diameter there so they both measure the same the same number uh, however there are some some differences so you can see that this is a cast uh, wheel and this is a, a billet a machined wheel on the on the uh, garrett turbocharger and uh, also this the design of this wheel is a uh, six uh, blade or well, six double blade you can see that there's there's an there's a, a taller blade and a shorter blade. And in the Garrett, it's eight, um, eight blades that have all have the same height. So uh, Garrett does claim that this turbocharger flows about 16% more air uh, than stock. You can also see that the Garrett wheel is slightly taller uh, than the OEM wheel. So. They're both, you can see that they're both balanced. You can see the balancing was done here. And actually there's some, there's some uh, small, um, small amount taken out of the, the compressor uh, on the inside there. And this one is just a, a, a cleaned uh, billet machine uh, wheel with balancing that's done, that's done there. So dimensionally, they're identical uh, basically, uh, but in terms of design, there are some differences and this is where the uh, Garrett unit would outflow the OEM. In terms of the compressor housings themselves, so there's the, the OEM is right there, and then the Garrett is here. You can see that the Garrett is a slightly larger diameter and, and surface area here. Uh, it is a 0.52 uh, AR, and they have it uh, printed, I believe, on the... Oh, the inlet here yeah so 0.52 AR um, the external dimensions are, are very very similar of course they they have to kind of fit in the same packaging space and uh, and that that makes them uh, similar with the Garrett having having a slightly larger um, larger housing on the compressor uh, than the OEM so now let's uh, have a look at the exhaust side well so OEM Focus ST, Borg Warner, and the new Garrett uh, P-Max Stage 1 for the Focus ST. So in terms of the wheels, uh, they are actually very, very similar with 
the Pmax being about one millimeter smaller on both the inducer and exducer, but very, very, very similar in terms of size. Uh, both wheels are a nine blade design. Uh, it looks like the Pmax might have a slightly, and I mean slightly steeper uh, angle on the on the blade itself but it's very, very, very similar uh, on the exhaust side in terms of the wheels. Uh, in terms of the housing, so it's a very nice casting that Garrett does. They do their own casting for both the compressor as well <coughs> as, the, um, as the exhaust housings. So this is, uh, this is not like a, a repurposed board worn or anything like that. It's all freshly done, very smooth casting. So the, uh, the OEM one is a little bit, a little bit rougher, at least on the outside. Um, it's hard to see because this one has carbon, but uh, there is a slight difference where the exhaust port. So this is the exhaust port, and that's where the turbine sits. Um, and so there is just a slight difference in in how everything is cast here. Uh, this exhaust, uh, uh, the wastegate. Uh, looks to open a little bit wider, but I don't think there's going to be any issues in terms of boost control uh, between the two. So uh, the, the uh, Garrett does uh, publish that this is a 0.4 AR, and uh, you can see the swan neck there. That is very similar between the two. We did measure uh, this uh, this opening here where it goes to the head, and it's it's basically identical. So on the exhaust side, these two tur turbochargers are very, very similar, with the largest differences being on the, uh, on the compressor side. So, uh, we've gone over the, uh, the uh, Pmax Turbo, right over here for the Focus ST, as well as what it looks like compared to an OEM Borg Warner Turbo on this car. Uh, we've gone through the compressor side, the exhaust side, and the wastegate uh, canisters, which open at the, pretty much the same pressure. So what can we conclude about this? Well, the turbos are quite similar in terms of size, with the biggest differences being on the compressor end. And Garrett does claim a 16% increase uh, in overall flow versus OEM. And they, uh, they obviously do all the calculations and all the modeling with respect to aerodynamics. So we can't not trust them. Our friends at Edge Auto Sport have also done a dyno test showing similar gains uh, that you see in, in dyno testing of these turbochargers. So if you're looking for, you know, 300 wheel horsepower out of the Focus ST that's more easy to achieve than with the with the stock turbo, which is always a, a strain, then this is a turbo for you. If you're looking for a really nice bolt and upgrade that is, is going to really... Um, match up to all the OEM hardware. It, it comes with the, with the uh, wastegate uh, control solenoid, the three port solenoid. So it's a really nice package. Um, if your turbo is blown, you need to replace it, or you're looking for just that extra 10% out of your uh, ST 2.0. And this is not just the Focus ST, this is pretty much all the two liter uh, EcoBoost motors that utilize this uh, single exhaust port uh, configuration. So a lot of the, the Fusion, the uh, Escape cars, this is gonna be a really popular option. Uh, and you know that it's built uh, with the quality of an OEM manufacturer, uh, Garrett being an OEM for a number of, uh, a number of vehicles. So it's, it's a really good option within that space. If you're looking for something significantly more powerful with significantly more flow, then this is perhaps not the best option for you. Uh, but uh, that's fine. There's lots of options from Garrett. There's, there's options from, um, from Borg Warner for, for those applications. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, keep on uh, uh, following our progress here and uh, our builds, and we'll bring you guys uh, content that is relevant. So take care. Until next time.